Today's little walk and adventure. There you go, sweetie. We have came to Paddy Free Men's Park, also known as Jasmine Dean Park. Okay, B fam, so I've decided to sit here rather than like use any picnic benches because my idea was is to bring a picnic cloth or a picnic um, sheet and just put that over the picnic table, but it was in the back of the cover, uh, cover, <laughs> in the back of the cupboard, and I never had time to get it. We were running a little bit late for our walk, so. I think we're just going to sit here, which I quite like it here because right down by the massive outdoor pond and all the ducks are over there so it's a nice little relaxing chilled place to sit and have our picnic. Have a look at this guys. I've got all the... Are you going to fall? you got your Heelys. Do not go too close to the water off those Heelys because you will end up in there and that won't be a fun experience for Dad. It won't be a fun experience for me tomorrow. I'm the one diving in after you. Mom? Yes, Caleb? And give me the ducks. Can I have some bread, please, yeah, so I can bread. feed the ducks? Yeah, bread. Me a bread. I have a bread duck. Are you still sleepy? Because you fell asleep in the car, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Me a bread. Yes, well, give me some bread and then you can feed the ducks, okay? Should we have our food first, or Caleb? I Caleb? Should we, have our, should we have our food first? Yeah, you brought your tie, haven't you? <laughs> What's it, a robot dog, isn't it? No, me won't go here, a cat. It's a cat, a robot cat. Very nice, Caleb. Mom, hold her. Hold her, okay, I'll look after her. Keep warm. Oh, I need to keep her nice and warm. Okay then. So, in our picnic bag, we've got some crisps, we've got some potato plates, plastic cups, but the cherry head from Morrison's um, and we've got some sandwiches somewhere at the bottom oh yeah we've got some lollies as well so we're just gonna sit chill have our lovely picnic it's just a small picnic yeah isn't it? we're not gonna spend too long here we've just came to like chill as a family and have some food outside um, it's nice to get the kids out with them not being at school and stuff like that these are lovely bacon and lettuce sandwiches and brought no hand sanitizer out so we're all wearing rubber gloves in the park how oh, weird is that? <laughs> Call us weird, but who cares? <laughs> I'd rather be safe than sorry. Yeah, everyone's wearing rubber gloves. <laughs> People are walking past me, look at them in the dicks. <laughs> but I'm just not taking any risks, guys. I think you guys already, already know that. So as you guys can see, the park's actually closed. And Caleb's just asked, Mom, can we go to the park, didn't you? Just loving this moment Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment Can we stay here together? If I could stop the time Don't you know that I would? Cause I'm just loving this moment Can we stay here forever? Forever Forever so we're inside the woodland walk area. Um, we just came down from the pond in the upper park, going down further to the waterfall. I think Stephanie's already mentioned that to you guys. Um, sometimes in high tide or like rainy high tide, in like a really, really wet rainy season, like autumn, you know, we see the waterfall gushing out loads of water. So I don't know what it's gonna be like in summer, maybe a little bit dry, but it's always a nice pretty place to go and get a uh, photo with the kids and stuff like that. So yeah, we're gonna walk down, see if there's enough water in it to get a nice picture. If there's not a nice wa enough water, we're just gonna head back up. And I think we're probably gonna pop the, the supermarket and buy some party food for tonight. Um, Cause there's a new movie on Amazon that I'm interested in watching, which I'll tell you guys about later. Um, I just watched the trailer, I haven't actually seen the video, I totally forgot the name so that's why I can't tell you about it now until I get back home and have a look at the title. Um, but the trailer looked really really good and I think the kids will love it and really enjoy it so I'm going to have like a nice little party, tea party back at home after this and sit down and watch a movie. But um, I did promise myself that we would do exercise five days a week, weekend, we wouldn't do any um, and this is another day that we're out with the family doing exercise and just 
basically fast paced walking oh wow look at this big fam look at this this is what i'm talking about this is what we're going for a picture for i'm gonna turn you guys around now and you're gonna love what you're gonna see look at this look at this big fam so i'm gonna zoom in for you guys but right down there you might be able to hear it is the waterfall and the bridge and on that bridge is a nice little place for a picture and you can get down like underneath it where them rocks are just about what about down there them little rocks and you can sit on them rocks and get a nice picture as well so we're gonna have a walk down see what we can get but it looks absolutely beautiful absolutely beautiful guys but yeah jasmine dean is a really nice place to come and take the kids um one thing i will say is don't park down the bottom on the main road we're well, not on the main road just off the main road because last time we did it and i think i told you before that we got a car robbed so we never park down there anymore we always park at the top um it seems to be a bit more safer up there but you don't expect it from a nice area like this because this is one of the nice areas of newcastle if you want the truth so you don't really expect it but the sort of see this here the nice areas you get all the burglaries and stuff like that happening and robberies and stuff and then uh, the rough areas you don't really get it um a friend of mine moved from a standard area i wouldn't say it was like rough but it was like you know it was an okay area i never had any problems moved up into a nice posh area um and his car keys got stolen from side of his house and they made off with the car so that's one true fact one true story that happened to me friend um raymond me mate which i don't really say anymore because he's moved down south but um yeah that's what happened to him you want to tell everybody what you just said no no <laughs> what did you say about me? Oh my goodness me, you're gonna have a dirty bum. Let's have a look at your bum. Turn around and show everyone your bum. <laughs> what was that for so twerk? So just walking past and look. Look at that. You know what dad used to do when he was a kid? Mm -hmm. I used to race down that hill and race up. So me and my friends used to climb over here and we used to slide down there and see who could get to the bottom the quickest and who could get the back up the quickest. That was the challenge, that's what we used to do. We used to race each other up and down that hill and it looks a lot steeper off camera than it actually is on camera. But yeah, me and my friends used to come here a lot when we were younger, just mess around in the woods. We wouldn't really stick to the path, we'd always go like down into the woods and mess around and there we would. But um, yeah, there's loads like off tracks and stuff like that. Yeah, Sean, yeah. Sir? What, my boy? Lost your mum. Lost your mum? But you're not behind us. Dion nearly fell in the pond before. I didn't really recall it, but you nearly fell in the pond further up. Let's go and see where they are. Oh, it's up. Hey. I've never done it before. No, they haven't. They're there. You can see them. They're quite far away, but well done for looking out for your mum, son. That's all I like to see. So one of the things I've noticed about myself is that I don't get out of breath as much as I used to um, when we first started doing our walks. Like now I can walk and I don't even breathe deeply now. So it's definitely doing something good for my cardiovascular system. Um, and I don't really find myself sweating that much when I'm doing walks. So yeah, I'm definitely feeling fitter. Oh, you okay? Oh, yeah. he fell over. Healy's are hard to go downhill. That was the second accident we nearly had the day. Dion nearly fell in the pool up there in the pond and then Logan just went flying there. He's got his heelys on though and obviously he's walking down the hills and stuff and it's a little bit hard. But we just came to the river. There's some of the river down there. And then obviously further up here we've got the waterfall. And we normally come for our conkers in autumn to the three big conker trees up there. I think it's free. So I didn't know this but that mill actually produced hydroelectricity for some of the houses further down back in the days. But I learned that when I went to Craigside's house and gardens. Because he was the inventor of hydroelectricity. So yeah, fun fact for you guys. So Sean is currently just down there. As you guys can see, nobody else has went with him. We all thought it was a bit too scary to go down there. Especially for Kayla and Logan. Now I know where Logan gets it from, his dad, because his dad's a daredevil as well. Okay, big fam, so I made it down to the waterfall and usually the water is only about up to about there on that rock. Um, so I'm like on this part here, which isn't too bad. 
Uh, it's quite shallow the day, but I'm gonna get a few pictures and stuff. Um, yeah, I'll just turn you guys around and show you guys what I'm looking at. It's beautiful. Well, look at that, guys. Beautiful. Stephanie and the kids are just up there, as you guys can see. I did ask Sean and Dion and Logan if they wanted to come down, but they didn't want to come down, so I wasn't going to push them to do something I didn't want to do. But yeah, I'm just going to get a few montages of this lovely waterfall, and I'll catch you guys up in just a little bit. But now, my task is, I've got to get up there somehow. Can I make it? Let's have a go. <laughs> See you guys at the top. So oh, this is Dean's outfit today. You look very smart. Thank you. You look like you're ready for the outdoors. Thank you. And I love your makeup today as well. Thanks. You're so good at makeup. You're better than mummies. Oh, thank you. Just loving this moment. We head back to the car and we'll catch up you guys in just a little bit. So I've just opened up the second tin that I bought a couple of days ago from Dobby's. And this is what it looks like inside. I'm a little bit disappointed because it kind of looks like not that great. As you've seen in the other one, it looked like more like chicken pieces. And this one just looks like blended rubbish to be honest. Um, so I'll see how she goes with this one. Then I'll let you know which one I prefer and then the cost of both so you guys know for your own cat. Um, but I mean it does say that it is like good for heart support, digestive and human tract. And it is like a bigger can than the other one. But who knows, let's see what Luna thinks of it. Seems to like it. I mean she doesn't seem to not like it like the other ones that I showed you guys. <laughs> Hi baby, we're just recording you eat. <laughs> so it does say that it's got 70% meat in it. And I mean 70% meat like is a good thing, isn't it? So 70% turkey. So I mean it's got a lot of meat in. When it comes to like cat food, you want a high meat content. And this one has a high meat content. Now obviously I've just given her like two spoonfuls which is enough for today. I don't give her this daily. Um, I normally give it to her like every three to five days. But because it's such a big tin, I will give her the rest of the tin like over a period of three days. But she seems to like it. She is eating it. She's not turning her nose up to it. But leave a comment down below. Any tips for cats, we would greatly appreciate because we are quite new at this cat stuff. The last time me and Sean had cats was when we were still living with our parents. And obviously, they take care of the cat food and stuff the like that. And the cat litter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, any tips or help would be grateful because I know that we have got a couple of subscribers that do own cats. I've got a question for them. Yeah. Don't put this on camera because I'm obviously just keeping the show and stuff. Yeah. And um, why do cats come so alert at four o'clock in the morning? And I think I've Luna's asked that called, already. Luna's called Luna, but I call her Looney Tune we in the middle of the night because all I hear is a cat growling up the stairs, running around the house in the middle of the night. I'm thinking, <laughs> what the hell is that? Like yeah. I've never heard anything like it in my life. Seriously, guys, it is mental. It is. So if you're new around here and you don't know, we've just recently got Luna and every time at 4 o'clock in the morning she goes on crazy. So our nickname for Luna is Looney Tune. How crazy is that? It's so fitting B fam. And she like attacks our feet, like the blanket and our feet and things like that. We'll have to try and capture it one time and then show you guys on the vlog. But a lot of people have said it's just because she's a kitten she will settle down when she gets older. 
cute big fans. So right now I'm going to read my two robots a bedtime story in bed. This is the bedtime story that we're going to be reading then. It is called Owl Babies. It's a really interesting story and I'm super excited to read it to them because this is your favourite story, isn't it, Logan? Yeah. So let's read it. Once there were three baby owls, Sarah and Percy and Billy. They lived in a hole in the trunk of a tree. So we found, I just finished reading the story to my brothers. It was such a fun and interesting story, wasn't it? Yeah. What was your favourite um, part of the story, mm -hmm. Caleb? He grew longer. He grew longer. Mm -hmm. You're a little baby. Yeah, because in the picture, on one picture he was like really small, and then the other picture he like was bigger, and the baby one out. And you, Logan, what's your favourite part? <laughs> mm -hmm. All of it. All of it. Logan yeah. liked the full thing. I think I liked it when the mummy barn owl came straight back and she came to the baby barn owl. I think it was really cute. So, baby fam, we have just finished up watching our movie and I'm going to end the vlog. I'm just giving Luna strokes. I'll turn you guys around and show you. So, this is what she's currently doing. She loves the smell of my feet. <laughs> hey, look at my feet. Do you like that smell? Hey, do you like that smell? Yes. Luna, say good night, Bifam. <laughs> Luna, Luna, what are you doing? <laughs> Honestly. You're too adorable. So fluffy. Anyways, be fam. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And I will see you in tomorrow's vlog. Hashtag be yourself. Hashtag be different. Good night. Mwah.